hi what is up youtubers today i'm going to go ahead and replace the battery on my alienware 17 r4 the battery is swollen and it actually popped the case off as you can see i wouldn't really recommend using the computer if the battery looks like this this is a fire hazard i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off Here is the battery itself. So here is a close look of the battery. It's actually very flat. I think they're using lipos. That's why they get puffy. As you can see here. Here are the specs. And take it apart. You're gonna start by removing the back case by removing these six screws. And then you're gonna undo this one, but you can leave it in there. You just undo it, but it stays there. Then you're gonna pop it open. Alright, so the case is off. Alright, so now you're gonna go ahead and remove, I believe, 13 screws. I'm gonna also do some cleaning. As you can see, the fans are completely dirty. Here are my upgraded drives. Then the SSD. All right. So the first step is to remove your SSD drives, and then the hard drive. Obviously, now I have an SSD over here. Then pop the ribbon cable off, and remove your hard drive. I upgraded it to a Samsung SSD card. Alright, then you're gonna remove your RAM sticks and the other drives also. Alright, so that's done. As you can see here, now I can remove these screws and pop off the inner case. You also have to remove the Wi-Fi card. I want to go ahead and pop off the battery ribbon cable right here. Because if this is not disconnected, you still have power in the system. So you want to pop this off. This should be your first step. Alright. Remove these two screws from the back. And then the back should come off easily, just like this. Alright, and then you can go ahead and remove this case. Make sure you fix the cables, do not pull. So you have more screws right here that you have to remove. Also remove the LEDs, there is another one on the other side also. Now the case should come off easily, as you can see. Alright, that is a swollen battery. Very dangerous because this is LiPo, I believe. So you want to be very careful while handling lipo batteries. They can burst into flames when crushed. So you're going to go ahead and remove the screws. I 
think it's four screws. And then here it is. It is very, very bad. As you can see, So a side to side comparison between the two. This is the brand new battery, as you can see, and this is the swollen battery. Do not throw it into your incinerator. Be very careful with it. All right, then it goes back into place just like this. I'm gonna put the screws back all right so that's all four screws in so from here you can just go ahead and uh, put back the things together everything is now back in place I'm gonna go ahead and plug the battery cable looks good Yep. Alright, so that's how you replace the battery on Alienware 17 R4 or Alienware 15 R3. I believe they have the same battery and the replacement process is basically the same. So yeah, if you have any question, drop them in the comment section and I will do my best to respond. Thank you for watching and see you around.